Hi, I'm Kirby with Augustine eBikes. Sometimes it can seem daunting to sort through all the different choices out there when looking to buy a battery. And since it's an expensive investment, you want to make sure that you're making the right decision. In this video, we'll look at some of the basic tips for buying your e-bike battery that will help you make good and safe choices. One of the first things to understand is that the e-bike battery world, ultimately all roads lead to China. Some of the biggest places to find e-bike batteries are online, such as stores as Amazon or DHgate and AliExpress, which act as middlemen for many manufacturers throughout Asia. Or, of course, you can buy directly from the manufacturer, which I've done many times, but it's a little bit trickier. So let's go through the checklist of what you should look for in order to make an informed decision. First, determine the voltage you'll need for the battery, and that is determined by the voltage of your controller and motor. Is it a 24, 36, 48, 52, or 72 volt kit? The next is to determine how many amp hours you need. And amp hours are important because the larger the number, the greater your range. Next look at cell types. The biggest makers of battery cells are Sanyo, Samsung, Panasonic, and LG. And sometimes you'll pay a premium for selecting a specific brand versus a generic Chinese battery. In a, in a later video, we'll explore the debate between battery brands. Next, match the right BMS or battery management system. Lower voltage kits can run on a lower amp BMS, such as 20 amp output. But for example, a 1200 watt kit or above will require at least a 30 or 35 amp BMS. I also look at the number of MAs or milliamp hours, which is a unit that measures electric power over time. It is commonly used to measure the energy capacity of a battery. In general, the more MAs, the longer the battery capacity or battery life. Next look at chargers. The 2 amp charger, which is common, are the slower charges, while the 3, 4, and 5 amp chargers charge faster. And this really is your preference, which kind of charger you'd like to use. Manufacturers always indicate a number of charging cycles. I usually pay no attention to it since all of my batteries have far exceeded those numbers. I believe they list these to cover their ass. I think they're designed to manage expectations of how many cycles you get out of the battery. And then ultimately there's cost. This is where things fluctuate wildly. The tools I use to determine whether it's a good price for the product that has matched all of my criteria are tools such as customer reviews, manufacturer ratings, how long the company's been in business, are batteries their core business, warranties, etc. All of this information is readily available online. I've had great success with aggregators like DHgate and AliExpress with their built-in customer support and customer protection. I hope these tips have been helpful in buying the right e-bike battery that should last you many, many years of great rides.